Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to attempt the biggest bloom I ever did do. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a, a canvas that I want to try out, and I think it is. If I, I'll have to measure it, I'll measure it, you know as we're doing the video. But uh, that's what's on the menu, the paint menu for today is a big bloom, and I might throw in three cell activators too. So let's go get started having some fun. All right, this might very well be the biggest bloom I've ever done. <laughs> This canvas is a 15 and a half by 13 and a half. Yep, this is the biggest one I've ever done. Uh, I get these at Hobby Lobby. This is, uh, if you see on their website or in store, they're hexagons. It goes small, medium, and large. It doesn't give you the dimensions um, on the little package, but this is the large one. And it's 15 and a half by 13 and a half. So, whew, wish me luck. I'm excited. I am up to the challenge. I'm going to show you the colors really quick and then I'm going to show you the cell activators because I'm doing something different. <laughs> I'm using three cell activators. I don't know why. I just felt like it. So the first uh, pigment I'm going to be using is this little piggy macaw and this is an uh, interference the blue gold the blue gold yeah it's blue gold but here's the consistency of it these are all mixed with my Valspar Varathane pouring medium mix all the uh, products ingredients all that good stuff will be at the beginning of this video as well as in the description box down below in case you uh, happen to miss what I'm uh, saying here all right the next one is going to be artist loft the cobalt blue cobalt blue cobalt metallic I love this color. I've always loved this color. And here's that consistency really quick. And then I got another piggy, this little piggy pigment. This is watermelon. This is, it's got pink in there. It's got like a peach in there. It's, <laughs> it's definitely pink, but it has a peach, kind of a peach under, peach gold undertone to it. And I noticed as I was mixing it up, there's flecks of like hot pink when I'm stirring like the, uh, the granules. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. And then I've got a Paraj Posse uh, Purple Shimmer. And that's what it looks like in the jar. It mixed up a little bit lighter for me. I may not have added enough paint, but I don't want my paints overly thick and I'm happy with uh, what it looks like. And it'll probably dry on the darker side. So that is that one. And those are the, uh, the color paints I'm gonna be using. The cell activators, I'll just go ahead and show you now. I'm gonna be using the black that I normally use, which is the Amsterdam Oxide Black, uh, mixed with Australian Floetrol four to one. Four to one meaning four parts uh, Floetrol, one part paint, whenever I say that. And then the next one I have I don't think I've used this yet on this channel. This is the PBO uh, Studio Acrylics, the blue black. I actually have used this before, uh, maybe offline, but it is, it, you can use it as a cell activator and it can probably stand to be a little bit thicker, but I have this mixed at four to one also. And then I have one more that I'm new to trying. Windsor Newton Galleria uh, Deep Turquoise. And these are all mixed with the Australian Floetrol. They're all mixed four to one. There's that one. All right. Now for my pillow, I have just a little bit left of the Pittsburgh Ultra in satin. I just wanna use it up. I probably won't have enough and the outside I'll add uh, some of my Glidden, but this is the uh, Pittsburgh Ultra Satin I usually get from Menards. Yep, that's all she wrote. That's okay. We're just going to do the bloom right in here anyways. But when I need to spin it out, I might have to add more. This is a thicker pillow, and so it doesn't really move too much on the canvas as you're putting the paint down. So, all right, now for the paints. This first one is the uh, macaw, the interference, this little piggy. I'm gonna put a, a healthy amount on. I want 
I want it to shine through from underneath. I don't even know how much paint to add for a canvas this big. <laughs> I've not done one. I might get the negative space. Sometimes um, I get more negative space when I don't necessarily want it and I get no negative space when I want it. All right, this is the Artist Loft, the Cobalt Blue Metallic. I just love this color. That should be a good amount. Oops. Get rid of that. And then this is the watermelon pigment. I'm excited to see what this looks like. I know, I'm going to get purple, <laughs> but I am fine with that. Right, and then this is the purple shimmer, the Parage Posse. I should put a little bit more of this on here, over here. I think that's, that should be enough. Let me just center it. There we go. Get my lungs ready for this. Oops. All right, the first cell activator I'm gonna put down is the deep turquoise. I'm just gonna layer them one on top of the other. And then I'm gonna put black and then I'm gonna put the the blue black the PBO it does seem a little thin I might lose it but we're just gonna go with it for now lightheaded. That white popping up isn't actually the pillow, it's the macaw. I can see the iridescence in it. that blew out nicely though. Let's see if there's anything I want to blow out a little bit further before we start embellishing. I'm okay there. Oh, you know what? I think it's good. I've got a couple little white dots that have come up. I want to push down first before we Modify this. Sometimes I like to add just these little swish marks as opposed to swirlies if I like the cells that are around it and I don't want to disturb it. I like to, you want to be mindful of how, if you're doing embellishments, oops, like I just kind of messed that up. When you're picking it up, Sometimes it makes a crooked little point. You can go back in and 
try to fix it or leave it completely up to you. But sometimes it stretches and it gets a little wonky. So just keep that in mind as you're embellishing yours. I had to get a new skewer. <laughs> the tip broke. I didn't even notice it. just in case I get some negative space and some of this ends up staying. Like I'm not really crazy about these cells, so I'm just kind of breaking them up a little bit with a pattern. I think that looks good. All right, I am gonna add uh, some pillow paint around the sides. I, I need some more on here and then we're gonna meet you over at Spinnerbox. All right, I've got a new uh, setup I'm trying out. I got, uh, instead of my box, I, I have one of those collapsible puppy pools and, uh, I, cause I want to start trying to go bigger spinning out, but I did add some pillow paint. <laughs> I had to use a different pillow paint so you can kind of see a line there, but this is what it looks like before we start spinning it out. The only problem with this setup is trying to make sure it's in camera or in view so you can see. All right, so now just push that back a little and I'm just gonna start spinning slowly. And maybe a little bit faster than that. <laughs> Well, that would be kind of cool if there was negative space and it ended up being just a, a big balloon that hasn't been blown out yet. I've still got paint on here though that needs to get off. Oof, but I really like how things are opening up. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of white dots there, but normally those are pillow, uh, pillow cells, but they're actually the macaw coming through, so I'm not, not unhappy about that. Go this way. I want to get this and, oh. <laughs> Lesson learned. Jody, come on. All right, well. Now we gotta spin to get that part off. I am really digging this, but I do need to get more paint off. I need to get one of those little handles. <laughs> I'm having trouble spinning it. Let's see, yeah, I've still got movement in the center. There we go. That was a nice healthy spin. Mm. I've still got some movement this way. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it that way spin just to get some more going that one way that I moved the canvas yeah that's about it I gotta fix that spot right there looks like I got a little goose in there <laughs> oh that's so funny not a lot of movement all right put this back center just a little baby spin. Yeah. All right. That is more. I am totally digging this. I'm going to push down some of the bigger white cells that are coming up. 
but I am really digging this actually for my first bigger bloom. It, it uh, and I like the negative space too. Yeah. All right. Wait one more. <laughs> I know you're probably yelling at me to stop now. There we go. All right. I'm done. I am done. Whew. All right. Ooh, there's what that guy looks like. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right. Here is the flyover of this guy. I have a lot of air bubbles in here that I had to push down. But I, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out for my first big bloom. Uh, a couple of my paints were a little bit more on the bubbly side. But you'll live, you'll learn. But I do like how the colors have blended. And I knew I would get uh, shades of purple. But there is so much bling in here. And a lot of like these white these white cells that have popped up. It's actually the macaw, the, the interference color that's peeking through. So when it's dry, it's actually going to be super shimmery. I just love all the cells in there. I actually got some negative space. <laughs> I have to go bigger in order for to keep the shape of your bloom. This is actually pretty cool with the shape of the bloom, how it, uh, it's not all, it's stretched out, but it's not. So with that, I am excited to see how it dries. I will be back once it's dried to give you the results. And I'm back to show you the, the big bloom that <laughs> you just saw me do. And it dried pretty well. I did have some shifting. Uh, that last cell activator I put on, the iridescent, the blue-black, the PBO, I mentioned it might be too thin, and it was because it kind of moved around a little bit in the middle. But it's still, I mean, it's still dried really nice and looks pretty good. I did have something... One of the paints, there was bits of something in it. I have bits in here. And I mean, if you resin over it, you're not going to be able to tell. And uh, the camera may not even pick it up. But did have some uh, bubble issues too. <laughs> I know better, but I just couldn't wait any longer. But it, I think overall, it turned out pretty nice for my first bigger bloom. Just a single bloom. And the, the middle is still wet, so I'm going to try and not touch it. <laughs> But here it is as a whole, and I kind of like that it it's still kind of like a bloom that you blew out. It's not completely stretched out. I was I probably should have stopped spinning about two spins before I stopped, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> uh, but let me move it around. It It is super blingy. There is a lot of nice uh, soft shimmers in here. And if I do decide to resin it, it, uh, it will definitely come out. Here, let me kind of get in to show you the details a little bit. I did have a... Actually, no, that's not bad at all. Now that I'm looking at it. I think the colors, I'm, I'm digging the colors. They're not for everybody, but I'm actually digging this piece. I, I, I like the white spaces. I like, I like everything about it. Do, am I in love with it? No, but I really do like it. <laughs> and you live and you learn. So this was my first big piece and I'm pretty darn proud of it. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear you know, how big of a bloom or a swipe have you, have you done? I, you know, I'm, I still keep pushing myself to go bigger and go bigger. And now that I have the puppy pool set up, I can, the biggest canvas I think I have is a 20 by 20 and it will hold that. So, you know, I'll get there eventually, <laughs> but let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And one more thing before we go is the uh, This Little Piggy First Birthday Bash collab is coming up uh, starting this Saturday. Normally I, you know, will, will post my videos Wednesdays and Sundays, but this weekend I'm actually going to post my video on Saturday because I'm, I'm kicking off the birthday bash. So it'll be on Saturday instead of Sunday that you'll get my next video. And I just wanted to let you know 
<laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video half as much as I enjoyed creating it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.